Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the incredible any card, any number. It does use the um, countdown force. You pick a number between 1 and 10. But what we've got is you've got your fourth card, the 10 of spades, in my case on the top of the deck. You're going to have the class this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The 9 and 10th card are going to make this card. So I've got a 10 and a spade which is a ten of spades so whatever your fourth card is you need two cards in the ninth and tenth position which are going to make them up using the suit and the value so that's nine and ten these will go on top of the deck I mean you could start the trick out by doing a Hindu shuffle if you want which would be case of picking up a big block of cards leaving your stack here and just shuffling off the top. To the untrained eye, you are shuffling the cards, but not the entire packet. And you could get the spectator to cut the cards and shuffle if you want, just as a little bit of a convincer. But you do need to remember which is the top of the packet, and they do need to cut at least 10 cards, because you need to make sure that your stack is in here, just in case you get confused picking them up. And you'll stack the top on top of the middle, on top of the bottom. Now you've got your fourth card on top, Give me any number, let's say they give you the number 13, deal 13 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Say to your spectator, there's no way you could have known they were going to call 13, so there's no way you could know that the number we're going to end up with is 4. So that's fair, so deal 4 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4. Remembering this is... Um, the packet which will go on first because your 10 is on the bottom. So make sure you put the cards on top of this packet. And then just turn these two cards over. You can leave these as a mystery or you could turn them straight over, whatever you like. And say to your spectator, we have landed on the 10 of clubs and the queen of spades. Now, had you have called a different number, it is possible we could have landed on either one of these cards. Pick up this packet and drop it on top of this packet, making sure this is still on the bottom. And there you need to load two cards on top of this packet because you've taken these out. And say, look, if you'd have picked a bigger number, we could have ended up on these cards. Place these on top of that packet, drop it on the, tap, on the top. Now that 10 of spades is the 13th card. But you're going to tell your spectator you've made a prediction the 10 of spades and we're gonna we got the 10 of spades so they'd be amazed at that but what was that number you gave me was it 13 and just deal to the 13th card 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 the 10 of spades so that's how i did it guys it's just that simple countdown force um somebody asked for some Super simple, easy beginner card tricks. This is completely self-working. So there's no fancy moves. It works itself. There is a slight setup, so you will need to set up the deck up before you um, take the cards out of the box, but it's fantastic and it's super simple. So make sure to smash the like button, guys. Um, leave me a comment and come back tomorrow for, what day is it? Um, it's Thursday, isn't it? No, it's Friday. So yeah, come back tomorrow for the giveaway reveal. Roofing Balm. Cheers.